Yo, YouTube Massive, Sanjay Uche here, well going. So, as you can already tell by the video title and the thumbnail, today I will try my hand at a very interesting um, video scenario, or video <laughs> format. Today I'll be covering a what if scenario. And it's a what if I've been given some thought for the last 24 hours, especially with the fight between Naruto and Jigen coming up in Boruto Manga Chapter 37. I'd like to kind of take a step back and see how the plot would be, or the entire story up to this point would be affected without the presence of Naruto Uzumaki in it. Um, I think I've come up with an interesting setup in terms of how things would be altered. So I guess rate, comment, subscribe, join to a thousand subscribers. I appreciate the support and let's get right into it. So for this what if scenario, um, where I have it is that Naruto essentially dies during the Momoshiki arc. I think the best place to actually put his death would be when he sacrificed himself for the village and just seeing how the plot would be or the story would be affected going forward from that point. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So when Naruto dies protecting the village from the Biju bomb, let's say he either dies at that point and, or, and basically Momoshiki and Kinshiki manage to get his chakra at that point. Um, of course, that would affect the amount of chakra pills they'd be able to make after that. And they'd more than like create a god tree, similar to how they did in the anime with um, the eight tails chakra. So that's more than like one kiss that's going to happen. So anybody going up against them at this point, which in this what if star would be Sasuke, Boruto, Sakura, and the Kages. I know it's a very interesting um, turn of events include Sakura, but just bear with me here. So with Naruto dead, we have a similar situation playing out like in the original story with Boruto feeling, you know, pretty defeated at the bottom of the barrel uh, for, <clears throat> for argument's sake. Now, at this point, with no Sasuke no longer sensing Naruto's chakra, I feel that the logical thing for Sasuke to do, he would go on to actually carry Sakura with him. Um, similarly to how... Sakura played an important role in restoring Obito's chakra to help um, Naruto and Sasuke reunite in the battle with Kaguya. Um, I feel with Sasuke using his <clears throat> his dimensional jutsu to actually trap down Momoshiki just to ensure that they get rid of them so that they don't come back to this dimension to finish things off. It would make sense for Sasuke to actually carry Sakura with him at that point to help restore his chakra. Since we know traveling between dimensions and carrying people, and at this point he'd still be carrying Boruto, Sakura, and the other Kage. It would make sense for him to carry Sakura to actually restore his chakra. Now, based on what we saw in the original story, it, more than likely they wouldn't really have much of a problem dealing with Kinshiki as we saw. Things would more than likely play out just the same, um, especially since they more or less cornered Kinshiki and Momoshiki before e Naruto and Boruto even really got into the fight more, <clears throat> um, if memory serves right. So... At this point in the what if, Kinshiki would more than likely be taken care of and it would play out similarly to the original story where Momoshiki would go ahead to absorb Kinshiki. It's at this point I feel that they had set things up for Sakura to actually help Sasuke restore his chakra to full to 100% so he could go all out against um, Momoshiki with Kinshiki absorb. Now without Naruto in the picture. Um, even though Sasuke wasn't fighting at 100% and I'd say he performed very well against Momoshiki with Kinshiki Absorb, I feel Sasuke could take um, Momoshiki at this point at full power, but um, for argument's sake and just to give the other characters something to do, I feel the best thing, and I think this is the best setup for even after this arc, is that I feel Sasuke would get creative and use the human path of the Rinnegan so just to deal with Momoshiki. He'd more likely get assistance from Boruto and the recuperated Kage after they <laughs> get their ass kicked um, initially after Momoshiki transforms, but we saw them get up back eventually. Now, with their help, them and Boruto's help, they'd help Sasuke, they'd help set things up to get Momoshiki in position for Sasuke to start pulling out his soul, which would temporarily immobilize him and with whatever leftover chakra that Sakura has, pumps that into Boruto, you know, giving him enough chakra to, you know, probably not as big in terms, <clears throat> probably his resin won't be as big, but Sakura would give him enough chakra to essentially finish Momoshiki 
and while Sasuke essentially absorbs piece of his soul and that way Boruto still ends up with karma at the end of the arc but the major difference now Sasuke is now armed with a he now has much more knowledge than he did in the original story now going forward I think it would make sense for Kakashi to actually take up back office at this point and now with the, the basically the wealth of knowledge that Sasuke now possesses on the Otsutsuki since he would have absorbed Momoshiki um Sasuke no longer has to travel as much so that's the fun part about this little what if scenario he can stay in the village and train Boruto even more and Boruto's character at this point would even though he's gotten some pretty decent development I think his character will be pushed forward a lot more um at this point honestly he more or less strive to be even an even better shinobi just to honor Naruto's memory now Similar to a video I did regarding Boruto chapter 37 and beyond where I said the fight between Naruto and Jigen would actually influence a lot of things, especially the new generation based on how it ends. Now, this is a similar situation going forward where the death of Naruto would help to inspire the new generation more than likely. And of course, this is a definite positive because it helps to include those characters that were basically not important. They are essentially given something to do. And with Sasuke in the village, I would want to say that Sasuke, even though he'd be focusing on Boruto and Sarada, it would be good if he got some some sessions with other um, generational members. Because with all the knowledge he would have received from Momoshiki, he probably, or more than likely, would want to put Konoha in like, I would say, wartime prep mode, essentially, just to develop the new generation. Because with Naruto dead, essentially, Sasuke would be the only six paths character left. So I'm pretty sure he'd want to help train the new generation. Now, after this point, I would say the Mojina bandits and the Ao arcs play with exactly the same. Um, and But with the only exception, as I mentioned before, Sasuke has a greater presence within the village. So he'd help to train Boruto when he's on breaks in between missions. Now, Kawaki at the end of the Ao arc would still be brought back to the village and this is where that major change occurs once again since Sasuke more than likely would take a responsibility of watching Kawaki. Now the problem with this what if now is that how would we go ahead and say how would the Karaks actually gain Kawaki's trust because the major thing within the main story of um, the Boruto manga was that Naruto was the, the whole Naruto was the, the pillar, the meeting point, the, the, the one person that Kawaki really eventually got to trust based on his backstory and his upbringing. But I think as a good substitute in this what if scenario is that Kawaki's trust would more likely begin via Boruto and his new mindset because since Boruto's craft would be catapulted to such a degree because of Naruto's death I'd say, I feel the interactions between Kawaki and Boruto would be the best <clears throat> the best way to actually gain Kawaki's trust and more like the stories from Boruto and even Sasuke himself who I'm um, just like Naruto and Kawaki couldn't actually escape from more than lightly so there's that and I know going forward we'd have even Delta versus Sasuke which would be an interesting matchup of course it would end um similarly <laughs> to Naruto versus um, Delta, but probably a bit quicker since Sasuke has more moves um, compared to Naruto, to at least Incapacitator. Um, so there's definitely that. And of course, things eventually do lead up to Kash and Koji still being in the village watching, and the eventual lead up to Sasuke versus Ka um <clears throat> versus ah <laughs> oh my god. Um, what's his name again? I've like completely zoned out just a while ago. Um, wow, my god, yeah, Sasuke. It was still lead up to Sasuke versus Jigen. <laughs> wow, I completely forgot Jigen's name there a while ago, but yeah, it would lead up to that. I think it's an interesting setup, and at the end of the day, even with this, what if I think if I were to continue writing the story, if it was up to me. I'd probably reveal that Naruto is still alive because it would still... I think Naruto still has a lot to offer the story really and truly. So that's that, that's pretty much it. 
in terms of how I feel things would actually play out going forward if Naruto actually actually died. The major difference is with Sasuke being in the village more, the new generation and Boruto and, Sa and Sarada included of course would be put in a situation where the characters are much much more different. Well, they are catapulted into I guess a situation where it, it kind of feels more more reminiscent of all our part one and part two Naruto where things are kind of on the, the precipice of war essentially. So that would be interesting. Um, it would give other characters that we currently feel <laughs> have no use in the story more purpose and they'd be pushed more at the end of the day. So I think that would be an interesting um, turn of events in terms of how Naruto's death would affect the story. But of course, I know I didn't really talk about how Sasuke and like the mental aspect of how the other characters would even react. But I don't know, this is my first real take on a what if. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Rate, comment, subscribe, leave your comments below. And what do you think would happen if Naruto actually died during the battle with Momoshiki or when he defended the village against Momoshiki's attack? Yeah, let me know what you guys think. See you guys in the next one.